electricity IV graphs. Let's look at the IV graph of two standard resistors. So we have current on the Y axis and voltage on the X axis. Here's one resistor and here's another one. From the graph, which resistor do you think has a higher resistance? The answer is the green one, and that's because it has a lower gradient. And in an IV graph, the lower the gradient, the higher the resistance. Therefore, the purple one with a higher gradient or a more steeper line has a lower resistance. Let's do one more example. Here we have three components. Which one has the most resistance? It's going to be this one because it has the lowest gradient. Okay, so we're going to look at the IV graphs of three components, the diode, the bulb, which is also known as the filament lamp, and a standard resistor, which can also be called an ohmic conductor. But first, going back to these three examples, what do all three lines have in common? The answer is that they all have constant gradients. In other words, they are straight lines. And a straight line in an IV graph means that it has constant resistance. They don't all have the same resistance, but for each one, the resistance remains constant for every voltage. More about this later. So, do all components have constant resistance? Let's find out by making IV graphs. Okay, so to make the IV graph, we're going to need to make a circuit to test the component. So here's a circuit. Over here, we're going to put our test component. Next to that, we'll put an ammeter in series. We also have a voltmeter around the component, and this voltmeter will be in parallel. Then we're going to put a component like this. This is called a variable resistor, and it's going to be very important as we're going to use it to change the current flowing through our test component. So what we have here is called the standard test circuit, and we can use a standard test circuit to test any type of component. For example, a standard resistor, or a filament lamp, or even a diode. Okay, so to summarize so far, let's memorize the method. Number one, we're going to have to set up a standard test circuit, which means we have to have the ammeter in series, and the voltmeter in parallel to our test component. Once we've done that, then we can just simply record the current and voltage flowing through the component. Then, we're going to adjust the variable resistor, this will adjust the current in the circuit. Once that happens, we can repeat step two and three. So record current and voltage, then adjust the variable resistor, and go back and record. And we keep on doing this so that we can get multiple readings. Once we have all those readings, we can plot that on an IV graph. Now, what will the IV graph look like? We can see that we have current on the y-axis and voltage on the x-axis. So will every graph have the same shape? Nope, it depends on the type of component. So let's start by looking at the standard resistor. The standard resistor will have a straight line, like we saw earlier. It has a constant gradient, which means it has constant resistance. The filament lamp, or the bulb, will look something like this. So we can see here that it's beginning to flatten at higher voltages. This means that there's increasing resistance at higher voltages. The reason behind that is because of temperature. At low voltages, the bulb is cool. However, the higher the voltage, the brighter it gets and it becomes hotter. So the reason it's flattening is because the bulb is getting warmer and therefore the resistance is increasing. An important point, we need to test components from both directions. This is so that we can see if resistance is the same in both directions. But how do we test each component from both sides? Once we finish getting all our readings, we can just flip the component inside the test circuit and then repeat the same method as earlier to get our new readings. And now our IV graph should look like this. So we can see that our IV graph has two lines now, top right and bottom left. This is to indicate the current flowing in both directions. For the standard resistor, we can see that we have a constant gradient which means constant resistance in both directions. For the filament lamp, again, we get these values. So it's showing us that at high voltages from both directions, it's flattening. Therefore, the resistance is increasing at higher voltages. And this is because the bulb is getting warmer. But for the diode, we get a line like this. 
So on one side, we have high resistance because the line is flat. And on the other direction, we have low resistance because the line is steep. Diodes only allow current to flow in one direction. So back to this question, do all components have constant resistance? So if you've learned anything from this video is that the answer is no. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.